Welcome back to Yellow Card Vanguard. I'm your host, Toku from It's Toku TV on Twitch. Throughout the week, I'm streaming Vanguard on my Twitch channel. We'll be building decks, playtesting, and just having a grand old time, so be sure to swing on by. With new Clan Classroom reveals coming out every day, you know what that means. It's time for a new chapter of Clan Collection Course. I want to preface this video and the entirety of the series by saying that many of these lists are entirely conceptual and surface deep and will need your own playtesting to fine tune. But each of these will aim to provide a way of thinking on how to take your new support in Clan Collection 3 and 4 and put it into a working deck. They won't all be optimized, but I believe they will be a good baseline to build off of. Welcome to Clan Collection Cores. Special Ninja Force Weasel Gang. With the new Clan Collection set, the fifth member of the Special Stealth Sentai Weasel Force has been recruited. Special Stealth Beast Weasel Black Sanjo, an archetype that plays a bit different from the normal Murakumo paradigm of cloning their units, but instead looks to have each unique one support one another. The Special Stealth Beasts are the epitome of a combo deck, needing multiple pieces to function. Luckily for us, Red can convert any other card in hand into the rest of the squad, and Black can now search for Red. So it's not outside the realm of reality to make our Weasel board ASAP. Let's see if we can combine and defeat the forces of evil. The new member to the Special Stealth Beast is Weasel Black. When placed on the Vanguard Circle, you can search your deck for up to one Weasel Red and call it to rear. And while on the Vanguard Circle, all of your special units gain 2k power and 5k shield. Finally, when Weasel Black attacks a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard, you can counterblast one and send four normal units back to the deck to stand four different named Grade 2 or less special unit. Let's get this out of the way. This deck isn't good. But my god, is it good fun. Despite all of your special units gaining an extra 5k shield, and thus making you that bit more tanky, it is unfortunate that this only ever goes off on the Vanguard Circle and can't work on the Rearguard Circle as well to get us anything more than 10k defensively. I'm a bit upset that Weasel Black can't send triggers back to the deck as well to even have an attempt at outgrinding your opponent. That being said, the special package is a very simple package within itself that is very, read the cards, do the effect, play the game. It's super simple and super fun, and probably super bad. Regardless, let's take a look at what a list would look like and what its win con would be. It seems obvious enough, but the win con is to hit them with a few Shiryukis to weaken their defense and get in with a simple 5 attack pattern or more of a full Weasel Board restand. Luckily for us, if we just pay respect to that win con, we can definitely build a very simple deck as the Shiryuki engine and the Weasel engine coincidentally fit into each other very well number wise. To start things off, we are going to play 4 copies of every Weasel name there is. Weasel Black, 4. Weasel Red, 4. Weasel Blue, 4. Weasel White, 4. Weasel Yellow, 4. So to further elaborate, Weasel Black is at 4 because the more times we re-ride into Black, the more Axels we get. Thus, the more Weasels we're able to have on the board and potentially more attacks. If we get to our re-ride and make another Axel Circle, we can have all 4 of our other Weasels in the front row for a full front row restand. Not bad, eh? Weasel Red at 4 is fairly self-explanatory. Weasel Red is every other copy of the Weasels and more. I actually really, really, really like Weasel Red in a vacuum. Being able to search 3, 4 to 5 cards out of your deck is a lot of compression. And as they say, deck thinning is deck winning. Weasel Blue and Weasel White both have the same effect to buff our board 2k for each copy of themselves, so it makes sense to have more copies to slam down on your board to just make it that much bigger. And finally, Weasel Yellow. It has special stealth beasts in the name, okay? As for our Shiryuki package, 4 Fantasy Petal Storm Shiryuki, 4 Stealth Fiend Jakota Girl, and 4 Stealth Fiend Rainy Madame. In a low defensive power deck like Weasels, Having Shiryuki as a defensive option but also an offensive option since we also look to multi-attack that many times in a turn, it just makes sense to play the full robust package. 
Also, with how many times we plan to attack each turn, it is very likely that we'll be able to resolve Rainy Madame quite easily. And ignoring triggers, we now have one slot left in the deck, which we've opted to put for six Flowers of Phantasm Shiryuki. Hopefully with this said Shiryuki package, it does compensate for our weak defensive stats. In our trigger lineup, I've opted to run six draws with four of them being Sentinels and six fronts alongside four Grade 3 Heal Guardians. I've opted to run 6 draws because they are the easiest card to discard off of Weasel Red to make our board, but also because of Weasel Red's cost to discard. We will need some hand. The Grade 3 Heal Guardians are definitely for our defensive early game, because once our opponent hits Grade 3, without the existence of Heal Guardian effects, attacks become a lot harder to deal with. As for front triggers, because as I said before, if we're able to get that rewrite and have our entire front row be filled with Weasels for that restand, that front trigger, combined with Shiryuki's power debuff, it makes a large difference. Some other options to run are few and far in between, but Ataka is an obvious one. To find our Weasel Blacks for the rewrites, which is instantly converted to a full bar through Weasel Red's effect. And with having more Axel Markers, it allows us to be able to play down more Weasel Whites, more Weasel Blues, which just makes our board that much more stronger. Maybe we can look towards a stronger early game and blowing out our opponents early rather than playing the Shiryuki engine to try and stall and build up a larger offensive. We can run the Grade 2 Ario and Awazu as an early game option to produce 19k attackers which hopefully knocks our opponent off kilter while we get ready to aim for a one turn pop with our board restand. Regardless which way you take Weasels, honestly speaking, I don't think it'll be amazing meta wise due to Murakumo's glaring weakness in the distinct lack of counter charge. So a lot of the effects that you activate are very one and done. And Weasels will suffer from the same illness. And with Black not being able to return triggers, namely heal triggers, to act as a fake counter charge, there is an upper limit to how far Weasels can go so you are time gated before you run out of counter blast to use. Regardless, as stated before, make no mistake that this deck is incredibly fun to play and although your L's may overpower your dubs, be assured that your serotonin will reach new heights. In any case, this has been it from me for this episode of Clan Clushing Cores. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this, like the video as it helps motivate us to keep the gears going, and leave a comment down below because every little bit helps the channel. This has been Toku from Yellow Card Vanguard. Toku out.